Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for your assistance. Today we will, we will continue with the session number four of solid state electron devices and integrated circuits. And we have the fifth lecture. The fifth lecture. We have the contribution of Catpar Gesaus Plus from Simvestar. High conductivity copper iodide thin fields deposit by a spin coating technique. I give the through to Gaspar. You can begin. Okay, good afternoon for everyone. Uh, I'm Gaspar Casados, and <clears throat> my presentation is about uh, thin films of copper iodide deposited by spin coating. Okay. The content of my presentation is a brief introduction, some experiment uh, details about the experimental, finally results and conclusions. Okay, I will begin with some <coughs> Basic, basic facts about copper iodide. The copper iodide film has been reported since 1907, so there are uh, materials very well known. Okay, this uh, material exists in three crystalline phases alpha, beta, and gamma. But the gamma phase is uh, very interesting for us because it exhibits the following properties it's a P type semiconductor with a uh, band gap. Uh, about 3.1 electron volts. The whole mobility is very high and it can be deposited at temperatures below 370 degrees Celsius and most of the deposit can be done at uh, ambient temperature. And uh, what is important is that it is a transparent film. Okay, how do we prepare our films? Okay, the first one, uh, the first step is glass substrate cleaning, and everybody knows is with diamond water, um, detergent. Some people will use another reactant, but it's a uh, very uh, well known procedure. Uh, we use, we employ a solution of copper iodide, uh -huh, of 0 0.15 molar, and it's prepared with this. Uh, Elements 28 milligrams of copper iodine uh, dissolved in one milliliter of acetonide and stir it at uh, 60 degrees Celsius by uh, 90 minutes. This is very important because most uh, reports uh, the solution is uh, done has done at uh, ambient temperature and the properties we got using this temperature uh, are. A little bit better. Okay, this uh, after all, the spinning uh, process is you put uh, the substrate in a rotative plate that can be controlled for the speed, and the solution is in, uh, put in a micro pipette and drop it over the substrate. In this case, is 30 seconds and 1,500. Uh, revolution per minute. After, after the spinning, the sample is annealing uh, in a hot plate, excuse me, in a hot plate at uh, one, 100 uh, Celsius degree by 10 minutes. We deposit the films in the two types of films on one of one, one layer and two layer films. Okay, uh, the morphology, the morphology of our samples are shown here. We can uh, notice how in one layer films, there's, you can be, see uh, how a lot of pinholes. And when we uh, do the second layer films, they diminish uh, significantly. <clears throat> The thickness of the, these layers are about uh, 50, 50 nanometers and 75 nanometers. A comparison with some of the other work reported it shows uh, we can see a very different because here we have very large pinholes and this, this one is not quite uniform compared with our films. Uh, the result of X-ray diffraction shows a uh, very good crystallinity because we have uh, just uh, one uh, peak 
in the uh, crystalline direction 111 and a very short one in the 222 direction for two and one line. And compare it with the, the other uh, reports, uh, they get another crystalline direction like, uh, like the 221 and the 311 direction. So these films are quite not uh, have very good crystallinity. They have more crystals. Okay, we make measurements of uh, default reflection in order to get uh, how transparent our film is. And from this data, we obtain the, the bank gap determination, and it's near to one. 98 electron volts and 2.19 electron volts, very near to the report of 3.1. We also uh, make uh, hard ether measurements. Uh -huh. This is the, the sample we uh, sample we use for such measurements. It's uh, this uh, con the separation between contacts is 10 millimeters. The radius of the contacts are those millimeters, and the magnetic field employed was 0.5 teslas. Okay. Finally, we have here a comparative table of our results, and uh, the one we uh, have been compared. Compared. Okay. This we have our sample of one layer. Two layers and the other ones, we see we have uh, low resistivities and the mobilities are near the Baluis Day report, and the current concentration uh, is uh, also near the Baluis. But uh, the important here is that these authors uh, make some uh, extra doping when they grow their samples. So we don't need to do uh, such extra doping with indium and uh, uh, with iodine, excuse me, with iodine, and then we get similar, very close the, or better than the ones they they get uh, with uh, a process called iodinization. Yes, they uh, doping after the first uh, the first deposit, they employ iodine in the vapor form to get some uh, increasing the contents of iodine in these films, or they, uh, they so in the solution, they add iodine in excess in order to get these results. Because finally, uh, a conclusion, these three films, we prepared three films using the low cost Spin quantum technique. Mm -hmm. And the, our films exhibit electrical properties like resistivity, mobility, current concentration, near to values reported by other authors, good without need of doping the unit in the process. And one difference is also that we uh, prepare the solution at 60, 60 degrees Celsius instead of at ambient temperature. So, as a consequence from the program conclusion, these films are suitable to be employed as whole transport layer in embedded perovskite solar cells or in another uh, optoelectronic devices. So, thank you very much. And if you have any question, thank you, Gustav, for your contribution. We have time for a couple of questions. Anyone have a question? A line question? I have a question. Um, in the conclusion, you say that the focus of the application of T-field and in inverse structure of perovskite solar cells. Why? Mm -hmm. Why specifically inverted perovskite solar cells? Ah, because okay, uh, the acetron field is um, is not compatible with the perovskite. So, if we, in the normal uh, type of uh, perovskite solar cell, 
if I uh, try to deposit over the perovskite, the uh, acetronitrile dissolves, attach the the, the, um, the perovskite. So this why is employed in inverted when you have the, the substrate, the transparent conductor, then the uh, the copper UD, and then over it you put the the perovskite. Thank you very much, Gaspar. That's all for the lecture. For the second lecture, we have the Professor Ferhati on online presentation. Okay. Professor Ferhati, can you hear us? <laughs> Professor Ferhati. It's not a bio. If he is not here, okay. Professor Perkati, are you can you hear us? Yes. Okay, thank you. As the next lecture, we have the contribution of Professor Perkati from University of Patna with the Tidal effect of nickel copper bilayer structure on the optical and electrical characteristics of aluminum doped synoxide tin film. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Can you begin, please? Is it clear? So, good evening. I am Dr. Fahati Isham from University of Batna. So, we provide the main results of our work entitled Effects of Nickel on Copper Bilayer Structure on the Optical and Electrical Characteristics of Aluminium Doped Zinc Oxide Thin Film. The presentation outline is given as follows. Firstly, we start with an introduction describing the importance of using aluminium doped zinc oxide material for optoelectronic and source applications. The second step is devoted to design and experiments. The result and discussion are given in the third section. And finally, we conclude with some remarks and future perspectives. During the last few years, aluminium doped zinc oxide material has received a great deal of attention due to its appropriate electrical and optical properties, such as the high bend gap the, and the good conductivity behavior, which makes it highly suitable for several applications, including our home appliance, power electronics, photovoltaic and sensing applications, such as photodetectors and absorber for sources. Several challenges associated with the use of uh, aluminium doped zinc oxide material for photo detection application, UV photo detection application, or buffer layer for solar cells, which are the low on state current, the low resistivity, self heating effects, the huge power consumption, the low resistivity. In fact, optoelectronic devices should, should satisfy several requirements, mainly. <coughs> mainly related to the high drive current capability, the low resistive losses, the reduced energy consumption, the low fabrication cost, and improved photosensing characteristics. So in order to overcome these challenges, new low cost materials and designers, design approaches are for great importance. 
The aim of this work is represented by the following points. So, firstly, proposing new multi layer structure based on aluminium doped zinc oxide and billard structure with nickel and 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 copper thin films and the last sub layer is considered with aluminium doped zinc oxide uh, film the second objective is related to the experimental elaboration and characterization of the proposed multi-layer structure using efficient low-cost experimental facilities and the investigation of the electrical and optical properties of the prepared structure and finally discussing the obtained results and the main contribution of the present work. The proposed structure consists of introducing a billiard structure with nickel and copper ultra thin metallic films within the uh, aluminium doped zinc oxide material to achieve enhanced electrical and optical properties as shown in this figure. The considered structure, the, 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 the proposed structure is considered on a PET substrate to ensure the flexibility of the structure. The proposed multi-layer structure with, with copper on nickel billiard structure is fabricated using the following process. Uh, we said on RF sputtering technique. So firstly, the substrates were cleaned up uh, and drying under a nitrogen jet process. And afterwards, a successive RF sputtering process was employed to develop the sub layers, the considered sub layers, namely the aluminium doped zinc oxide, the copper and the nickel, and the top aluminium doped zinc oxide film. The deposition parameters of the elaborated multi-layer structure are given in this few, in this table, I'll summarize in this table, and optical and electrical characterizations were, were, were carried out using appropriate experimental facilities such, such as UV visible spectrophotometer and home measurements uh, to extract the electrical parameters of the uh, suggested structure. For the result and discussion, these figures show the <coughs> transmittance and absorbance spectra associated with three different samples based on thin film aluminium doped zinc oxide and multi-layer structure with a single nickel metallic layer within the azo structure and the third and the last one is based on introducing a billiard structure with nickel and copper metallic films it can be seen from these figures that the transparency is remarkably lower across different parts of the spectrum for both developed structures with nickel and nickel copper metallic media the proposed multi-layer structure shows improved absorbance behavior over weight spectral band. This, is, this can be attributed to the improved light management and plasmonic effects when a metallic media is incorporated within the metal oxide layer. To assess the electronic properties when a metallic media is inserted into the aluminium doped zinc oxide film, the top lots are given in this in this figure for the prepared samples based on aluminium doped zinc oxide and multi-layered structures with nickel and nickel on copper billiard structure. So it can be seen from this plot that the that lower band gap values around 3.35 electron volt and 3.33 electron volt for the air sputtered multi-layered structures is achieved. This value is lower than that of the conventional aluminium doped zinc oxide layer. Uh, this is due to the impact of the entry layers on the optoelectronic behavior of the developed film. 
after carrying out the horn measurement, so the, we summarize in this figure the electrical and optical parameters comparison for both elaborated sample ba samples based on aluminium doped zinc oxide and and the inclusion of the billiard structure with nickel and copper metallic layers. It can be seen, concluded from the later figure that better electrical and optical properties of aluminium doped zinc oxide thin films can be achieved by incorporating a bilayer um, intermediate layer with nickel and copper. The considered multilayer shows reduced sheet resistance and improved light absorption capabilities. Also, the it reduced Bilayer structure based on nickel and copper behaves like a conductive media and allows enhanced optical and resistive behavior. For the concluding remarks, so in this work, uh, a new multilayer structure with a bilayer metallic film is proposed and elaborated using RF microtransporting technique. So the optical and the electrical characterizations were carried out to study the performance of the considered multilayer for optoelectronic applications. So the elaborated structure shows enhanced optical absorption capabilities and improved electrical con conductivity behavior. So this structure exhibits enhanced absorption over a wide range of wavelength in the visible region so uh, reduced band gap values and improved electrical characteristics so uh, using nickel on copper middle bilayer structure not only reduces the cost but also improves the overall performance of the aluminium doped zinc oxide film presenting a viable alternative in the advanced flexible optoelectronic devices so as a perspective of the present work, uh, this work can be extended by analyzing the influence of the introduced bilayer geometry on the optical and electrical properties of aluminium doped zinc oxide thin films. Further investigating the effect of annealing conditions on the structural and optoelectronic characteristics of the multilayer structure seems interesting. Also, implementing the prepared device as a building block for the realization of high performance multi spectral photodetector can provide enhanced performances. So, thank you for your attention. Thank you, for Professor, for your contribution. We have time for, for a couple of questions. Anyone have a question? audience online. Okay, Professor, I have a question. Uh, considering yes. the electrical characteristics of this material, would yes. it have application in what, what kind of uh, electronic device specifically? I didn't hear you. Can you please repeat your question? Okay, the, about the application of, of this material considering a uh, low transmittance. Uh, about the application of the considered multilayer structure? Talk about the application of the infinite device. Yes, yes. yes. The, the developed multilayer structure can be uh, used to develop uh, a high performance photo multi spectral photo, de photo detector that that can be able to to provide a high response over a wide range of wavelength ranging from UV to visible due to the, the enhanced absorption capabilities of the multilayer structure. This is mainly due to the use of, of, of a bilayer sector with different metal media, such as the nickel and the copper, which has led to appropriate large, light management and light scattering effects, uh, and thus enhance the absorption capabilities of the multilayer sector. Thank you very much, Professor Prakati, for your contribution. 
Thank you. Um, we'll continue with the next lecture. Uh, Professor Alberto is, is here online. I'm supposed to for all the, the time. Professor Roberto, can you hear us online? Anyone of his group? So the participants in the next session are ready to present each one <laughs> Aluminium dotted steam oxide defeats new phase of aluminium oxidation. Good afternoon, everyone. I present my topic with transparent and conducting aluminum dopants in oxide in films in friends of aluminum concentrations. I am Luz Margarita Valcaza Guillotoro. I have a doctoral in students in the science and the technology program. Okay, my advisor are Arturo, Arturo Maldonado Álvarez and Dr. Maria de Luz Olvera Amador. The outline contains introduction, experimental design, results and discussion, and conclusion. Introduction. I let's start a brief introduction to the transparent conductive oxide 
now as TCOs. The TCOs part of, of the electronic devices. These materials must possess two very important properties, which are low electrical resistivity and high optical transmission. In the figure one, we can see the examples of TCOs in optoelectronic devices, such as smart TV, solar cell, um, smart windows, and glass airplane. In this world, we chose the scene of sign due to the intrinsic characteristic. Um, the principle is the, it's the exciton binding energy of 60 million electron volts, the band of 3.3 electron volts. It can reach the optical transmissions greater than 70%. The stable, the stable phase, the hexagonal type, the benzene oxide reach uh, 10 to the minus 4 omega centimeter, also low cost and no toxic. The reason for choosing aluminum as a dopant is for unique radius because they are very close. This allows the best electrical properties. The tin films was obtained in ultrasonic chemical spray by Rose's technique. The technique is distinguish the oil techniques, the main advantage. Deposit double with films with a wide variety of elements and concentration of impurities does not require monoprismaline substrate as a use of a counter mix. The rate of growth and thickness in the films can be easily controlled under wider range of deposition variables. Substrate temperature range from 100 to 550 degrees. Easy of changing spray solutions during field deposition. Thus, different layers and concentrations, various or impurities can be have across the film. The technique consists of the following steps. Number one, the preparation of solution. Soluble precursor salt are used in starting solutions. This solution generates the fine mist or gas with the ultrasonic generation and is transport to a hot substrate. The substrate is where this pyrolytic reaction takes place. The experimental details. I need to start the cutting and substrate cleaning. Then weigh the synoxide precursor to prepare the solutions, 0 0.2 molar. Then the weigh the aluminum precursor to prepare solution, 0 0.1 molar solution. And then mix it uh, to obtain one hyphen by atomic percent. The ultrasonic chemical spray by Rolisys equipment must, must must prepare with the uh, optimal working conditions to prepare film positions at 450 Celsius degrees. And finally, the film's characterizations with difference techniques. The results and discussions. The structural parameters before uh, the identification samples. The letter A, the first letter, corresponds to the point, in this case, aluminum. The following letters correspond to the zero side. And the number corresponds to the atomic percent in the star solutions. In the figure four, we can see the X-ray diffraction. The ACO refers at different concentrations. In the big position, 34.50, 
nanometers, we can see the proof peak associate with 002 hexagonal plane. To match the crystallographic card, the 01, 080, 0074, corresponding to the hexagonal result. The crystallic size was calculated as general equations. The atomic percent one anti three atomic percent, the crystalline size remains constant around 24 nanometers. In morphological properties and the morphological analysis, the scanning electron microscopy. And we can see the hexagonal frames. Confirm what was observed in XRD. This image was measured the image J, the grain says orange. In general, the smaller orange grain size, higher atomic percent, and this verse. In the optical properties, we can see the optical transmission spectra, the audio films reach, uh, reach the optical transmission in the civil ratio is greater than 80%. In optical transmission puntual, corresponding to 15 nanometers. We can see the well, well find their interference ranges to do both the thickness and quality to films. The bank of calculations were made at Taub's method. In electrical properties, it can be observed that the electrical resistivity show a clear threat to decrease to decrease as aluminum concentration is increased until a uh, three atomic percent. In the atomic percent, uh, atomic concentrations higher than three atomic percent increase in a resistivity is observed, which is the attribute the solubility limit the aluminum into synoxylaris has been surpassed. In the figure of merit, um, was measure the TCU quality. It's the, same, it's the same behavior. The electrical uh, parameter uh, use the, resist, the square resistivity and transmittance. The figure of merit proposed by Hack, uh, the best result is the ACO3 atomic percent present the best figure of Mary, 1.86 10 to the minus 3 omega centimeter 10 to the minus. Estimate for orange transmittance of 87% and sheet resistance 343 omega centimeter. This result is compare the atomic layer deposition with a similar thickness. And conclusions of the deposit, the synoxide fields present hexagonal busai structure and preferential orientation in the zero zero plate with double wet aluminum. The fields and micrograph confirm the formation hexagonal planes. 
the Banda values remain constant with an estimate of 3.3 electrovolts. The electrical resistivity decreased with aluminum concentration as was expected. The ACO3 films present the best figure of merit. Estimate from the orange transmittance of 80-10% and sheet resistance of 343 omega centimeters. Some reference. Um, acknowledgement the technical support. Miguel Luna Arias, Jorge Roque de la Puente, Jaime Vega Pérez, Alfa Tavira Fuentes y Dr. Ángel Miguel Guillén Cervantes. Any questions? Thank you. We have time for questions. Here we go. Okay, please. I have a question. Why? Uh, why? Uh, what is the result, the change of the thickness of the films? Because I think it's the same condition. Um, I was calculate the bang up use the thickness the profilometer and thickness the manifestation method. The result is the manifestation method. Not change the band up. No, no, I remember the thickness of your films. The thin films is the, uh, for example, is the 547. Um, it's lower. It's lower than 1600. Another question? Any question in line? Okay. We have any, any questions? I have some questions. Uh, what is your reproducibility of the method? Is the in this case is the best result the two the two the in two times in twice twice on twice is the is reproducible is the is. The result is similar in different in different times and in different in different um, other peers, other days. Um, what uh, is the factor uh, and minimum concentration in your view? What is the concentration of aluminium in the films? Okay, in the atomic concentrations uh, of the of one, two, three, and five atomic this is in concentration in solutions. But in your film? In a film, I don't know, I don't know the concentrations. Do you have made uh, any? Characterization of the aluminum concentration in films. In films, you know. Okay. You know I studied the incorporation into films. Okay. I know that tonal okay. concentration. Do you know what is the real uh, okay. aluminum concentration? Okay. But, uh, but uh, this can be different as the aluminum concentration in solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is carrying solution. 
Um, what is the reason of this uh, thickness difference in the teams by the two metals? The thickness is by Alistair. The thickness measurements in this results is by... The first results say, is your profilometer. What? Profilometer. Profilometer. Uh -huh. And the next is your the manifestation. What is the, uh, the what is the reason for your this difference? The average the the average the the measurement in profilometer is in ten points the films. In the manifestation method is the involved the the way to learn is the is the more right and slow. Right. It's more important. The other uh, the other uh, um I figure in the calculation or in the measurements. In it's possible to estimate um in I I met a pickup. Thank you. Thank you. The next talk. Thank you. Thank you. Is. And the work is effect of locking zinc oxide films with copper on the decoloration of methylene by photocatalysis. Okay, and for the for my name is Eduardo Ramirez. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to be here uh, with you and uh, and share our study on photocatalytic uh, degradation of methylene blue using thin uh, films of synoxide and copper group synoxide. The uh, author of this work, Eduardo Victor Ramirez Martinez, your service. 
eh, María de la Luz Olvera Mudo, a Arturo Maldonado Aguas. The content is uh, introduction, experimental work, results, conclusions, and acknowledgement. Introduction. Uh, the, the problem with others in this research is related to uh, with work from the pharmaceutical and textile industries, <coughs> uh, which are some of the most going to, uh, to the intensive use uh, of guys. Uh, approximately 70% uh, of the water use is uh, in daily processes. Uh, is is checked with without prior change. Uh, result re resulting in large quantities of contaminated water. And the, an example of the drugs is methylene blue, a compound can, uh, that can be uh, photodegraded through pharmacodynamics, a process uh, that uh, depends on the material's uh, ability to form uh, free radicals, as these structures are powerful oxidative agents. Uh, in oxide, uh, uh, AMO, these materials is in oxide. Zinc oxide is a semiconductor uh, uh, of the metal oxide family, uh, no uh, for its uh, chemical stability, low cost, and easy preparation. It has a, a way bang up between uh, from uh, 3.1 to 3.7 electron volts. Uh, um, among which it's high photocatalytic antimicrobial uh, anti corrosive properties. Tindoxide uh, commodity crystallis in hexagonal or seed side structure. It has uh, an intrinsic conductivity. Okay. Copper dome zinc oxide uh, is, is a strategy, is a strategy, uh, uh, the, 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 the improve its for catalytic activity. Uh, the introduction of the incorporation uh, of copper into zinc oxide uh, can extend light uh, absorption to lower lower uh, wavelengths. Yes. Uh, 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 extend the uh, light absorption yes. and improve the, the the separation of photocatalytic charges. Which uh, uh, helps uh, the reduction uh, of recombination uh, electron and salts, uh, improving improving the efficiency of the photocatalytic process. Experimental work uh, for our experimental work, uh, we used uh, the technique. Uh, uh, pneumatic, strike, periodic, PCP, uh, or uh, two uh, deposit synoxide and copper, copper dot synoxide. Uh, in fields of clay uh, substrates. This technique is, inexp uh, is inexpensive, uh, easy to use, and uh, uh, produce. Uh, Highlight uh, pure fields. Um, we prepare a solution precursor uh, of zinc oxide and copper group zinc oxide uh, and, and, perform, and perform the deposition at uh, uh, different temperatures 
uh, between uh, four, uh, 450 and uh, 525 degrees centigrade. And four different, uh, on different uh, deposition times for seven and ten units. Uh, for the case uh, of doping films, uh, the same temperatures and the position times were used, aiding to, to the initial C precursor solution, the necessary amounts of upper chlorine to obtain three different uh, atom values, three, five, and seven forces. For the measure of photocatalytic activity, uh, we use a uh, initial cynical reactor with uh, 15 watts material lamp general electric uh, under ultraviolet ratio of the of uh, 232 main wells. Uh, use uh, the configuration uh, shown in the picture. Uh, cells contain three millimeters of a uh, concentration of 2 by 10 to the minus 5 volts of mercury blue. Results. The thickness uh, used uh, was measured used uh, profilometry. Uh, as uh, we can you can see in the table, increase increases with uh, the position, temperature, and time, uh, the films, the films uh, range from uh, 200 to uh, 1,370 nanometers. Every diffraction confirms the, the presence of a uh, hexagonal cursive structure with a preferential for a long zero uh, zero two planes, i.e., from along the uh, c-axis are uh, the dot fields. Uh, spectra, uh, spectra uh, 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 for the dot fields were similar at the same uh, co uh, condition, uh, uh, condition the, uh, the position condition. Sorry. Uh, and no uh, extra phases of Cooper and Zinc were detected on their, uh, the limits re resolution of the equipment used. The crystal size uh, of the synoxide films range between uh, 15 and um, 47 nanometers for the undock fields and val values between uh, 23 and uh, 51 nanometers for the dog fields. We can see that the visible uh, values range right between uh, uh, 0.51 and 0.53 nanometers, and A between values uh, 0.31 and 0.33 nanometers. We show that the addition copper doesn't affect in in a way. Uh, the crystalline structure. At least up to the maximum atom radio of 7% uh, used in this work. From uh, the characterization of the, uh, optical characterization, we can see that uh, have good absorption in the uh, ultraviolet interval, mm -hmm. uh, which is K uh, for the photocatalytic process. 
Uh, <clears throat> from the uh, three sets of spectra, we can see in the, uh, in the visible interval, the, pre the samples present uh, an optical transmission uh, of around 80%. Uh, 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 this is aided to figure A uh, is an example. Is an example of the Vanguard energy calculation for the top method. In this case, corresponds uh, synoxide uh, for 475 for sample. Okay. Uh, the Vanguard. Uh, the other values uh, were all similar, and the oscillator uh, 3.1 and 3.33 electropulse interval. Uh, regardless uh, of the copper concentration used uh, in the dog pins. Gene analysis. Uh, this this analysis uh, confirmed the homogeneous uh, incorporation of Cooper in the uh, synoxide fields. The, the deep profile, the, the deep profile uh, obtained by scenes show, show uh, a good, show a good uh, co uh, concentration of Cooper, uh, which reinforced the idea that the dog been uh, effective. So, the same images uh, show here, show here uh, mag at mag magnification up to 50 kx, uh, revealing a, a positive hexagonal plate uh, morphology for uh, the dot pins. Why? Uh, for the dot pins <coughs> exhibit uh, a more rough of uh, agglomerate structure. Uh, the average uh, particular size for the dot pins was uh, approximately 100 nanometers. And uh, for the Dove uh, ones, it was uh, 34 nanometers. Uh, the figure presents for a characterization the plots uh, of concentration radio C0. Uh, of the metal in blue as a function uh, 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 special time for uh, xenoxide fins deposit at different temperature and time. The concentration radio C0 uh, is calculated from uh, absorption spectra where C0 and C uh, is measured uh, at time equal zero and time equal T units, respectively. Uh, firstly, for a catalyst, uh, for, uh, for, 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 for analysis, for analysis tests uh, were performed to have the, the reference value. According, according, uh, to the obtained results, the sample synoxide 504 uh, obtained the, the best for catalytic efficiency, achieving 90% 90, 90 degradation in five hours. Uh, the sample present, the sample present the, the lowest thickness, which means that mass is a uh, determining, uh, determining factor in the degree of photocatalytic 
performance uh, as expected. Kudov, Kudov, Dov, Synopsite Film. This case, uh, Synopsite, three person, Cooper, 454. Present, uh, present, uh, the best photocatalytic efficiency. Obtain 99.97% degradation in five poles. Uh, I fall, uh, I think show, I think show, uh, I think show, uh, fifths, uh, pseudo fifths or order is the degradation synthetics. Um, and the estimated values uh, of the Synthetic constants obtain 0 0.12 to 0.33, uh, for the undock pins. And from 0 0.12 to 0 0.47 for the dog pins. Uh, a highest value of K indicative uh, a greater degradation uh, capacity of methyl group. Here can see, uh, here, uh, we can see that uh, study the, the samples obtained. Uh, up, uh, up before and after the photocatalysis uh, process. In this case, a uh, sample that offers the minimum degradation and samples that offer the maximum degradation in five years. Conclusions, xenoxide uh, and copper dot xenoxide Infants were deposited using pneumatic spray pyrolysis at uh, 450 and uh, 525 degrees centigrade on glass substrates. Every, uh, every detection confirmed a sonorative structure, since detect a good incorporation of copper in samples, then a show morphology and variation based on the detection conditions. And films demonstrate excellent photocatalytic activity with the greatest degradation cell in the synoxide 3% three, three Cooper uh, 450 sam for sample. Confirm uh, that improves photocatalytic efficiency. Other grains of rough, rough uh, source, uh, surface improve efficiency. Uh, acknowledge the doctors. The, uh, the technical supports and the uh, others collaborations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have time to questions. Hi, Basil. First time. How many PPMs of methyl and blue are you using in your experiment? Uh, anyway, the concentration of your methyl and blue. No, uh, only, only two, two, two by PPM. PPM, yes. Two PPM? Two, yes. Okay, yes. And just like a comment, you should eliminate in your title the word the coloration. I think the the right word uh, will be degradation. Your title. Just like a comment. Okay, okay, perfect. It's not a question. Okay, okay, yes. 
Thank you. Thank you. Another question? Okay. And what about the stability of the team fields over different cycles of photocatalytic activity? Uh, the reversibility, the stability of the team field over different cycles. Ah, okay, perfect. Um, although, although we did it, um, perform this study, um, Sinoxide, uh, Sinoxide usually present, present a high stability and efficiency uh, after several cycles uh, of poro catalyst. Um, uh, Due, due to the the uh, chemical distance and photodegradation. Over uh, additional experiments uh, will be needed to confirm uh, its long long term re Thank you. Thank you. Another question? Okay. okay. I have only one question. What is the reason of the degradation of the material blue? Mm -hmm. About capturing the direction, you the oh, yeah. coloration of the solution. This uh, <laughs> it has to be very uh, simple. It's very really simple. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, I may have seen, seen uh, any. Samples <laughs> with the, with the uh, zinc oxide and with the tank, this blue color and the solution is uh, transparent. Okay. I, I don't know what I think that's the any. Molecular of the uh, metal blue is the positive or the thin or not? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, but uh, I, I don't uh, I can uh, answer yeah. uh, in this moment. Hey, <laughs> another question. Okay, thank you. Yes. 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 And Professor Roberto, can you hear us? I guess. Excuse me. Professor Eberto, can you hear us? Okay. 
Não quero, professor. Não. Put your, put your mic on, your microphone on. Pueden escribir en el chat que no se escucha, ¿no? a lo mejor del chat. ¿Puede conectarse a la conferencia? Desde otro navegador, por favor, porque no lo escuchamos. Buenas. No, 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 Como son eventos, si nos escucha, puede escribir en el chat. Sí, no se escucha. Sí, no se escucha. Intente desde otro navegador. Pues, o iniciar la Desconexión es de audio. No, que se desconecte y se conecte. Desconectarse y volver a conectar. Sí. 
A ver, ahí está pidiendo entradas, ahí arriba, a ver. Hace correcto en otro lado. Sí. No se está. ¿Quieres? ¿Abre el micrófono? ¿Puede hablar? Para ver si lo escuchamos. Ahí todo está silenciado. Ahí todavía está silenciado. Sí, tiene que abrir. No solo lo tiene que abrir. Ya tiene derechos, pero no puede. Sí. Mi micrófono no funciona. Otra computadora. Es de las opciones. No, no es revés, solo se puede bloquear. Pero no lo podemos abrir. Además, se le entró como invitado. Algunos entran en el directo así y ya tienen privilegios. Otros hay que dárselos. Eh, ¿Puedes conectarse y conectar en otro navegador? Por favor. Bueno, la computadora. Ahora es el micrófono de la computadora. Ya se me nombre. Este con él. ¿El ser también? Sí, así está bien. Ahí está. Fue el inicial con el que entró. ¿El HP Sí. 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 Lo ponemos otra vez como, como moderador. ¿Tú ves? Y... Ya no veo muy entonces no se van. No, no puedes. Nadie tiene el teléfono del doctor. El doctor no da mi teléfono. Ah, ok. Por llamar a la opción. Yo me estoy para el bajo. Ahí está. Puedes hacer la presentación de Sí, es que dice ajá eh, podrías que le envía un correo eh, podría poner en speaker ajá. y tiene la presentación esa sí la puede poner que él comparta la pantalla de sí, sí, Teams y el audio para allá en el celular sí. comparte la pantalla en Teams de verso y eh, comparte la pantalla en Teams y la, el, el discurso va a estar en, en, en WhatsApp. Sí, en el celular. ¿No se puede conectar desde otro navegador? Sí. 
No, que tiene el problema que la computadora ah. no tiene el, el micrófono, lo tiene cerrado, por más que lo quiera. Sí, tiene autónomos auriculares con el micrófono del auricular, Nada más que ponga el speaker en el, en el teléfono y ya en la con el micrófono. ¿Cómo le hago el speaker? Es que yo no sé cómo usar esta tecnología. A ver. Bueno, bueno. Ah, no, sí, está el speaker. Está el speaker. Pero el la, volumen está muy bajo. La llamada normal o WhatsApp. Por la llamada telefónica. ¿Llamada telefónica? Sí, para la calidad de la Oye, te voy a llamar por llamada telefónica. Bueno, sí, ahora sí. Sí, explicar. ¿El máximo? Sí. Acá. Al eh, se nos cae con eh, transparente conducto. Bueno, eh, ¿Sí? 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 Um, por blocking light o specific uh, wavelength. Among exist existing oxide conductor, thin oxide is one of the most uh, durable due to low to face electric resistivity and high optical transmitting. Uh, thin oxide has been successfully computed using the ultrasonic chemical technique. This work uh, focuses on the effect of milling precursor cells. It is based on a hypothesis the milling reduced the particle size, enhancing the solution of the precursor and then, como generic of the dinocytes in. Thereby improving their quality. In this study, we analyze the milling time and the position time, examining the beer balls that must most influence properties as a transparent conductor, including morphological, optical, structural, and electrical properties. In the future, we plan to drop the synoxide to reduce their electrical resistivity. Uh, experiment detail, uh, the team uh, work positive using uh, 0.2 molar study solution. The study solution was more for different time. Uh, 0, uh, 15, 30, uh, 45, 16, and uh, 120 minutes. A pulverized model, pulverized uh, seven watt U, operating a uh, speed of uh, 300 uh, RPM. The proposal was installed in, in a mixture of pianist, uh, water, methanol, and acetic acid in a 
ratio of uh, 100, 700 and 200. The film uh, were deposited a temperature of 100, 475 degrees with a production flow rate of 1 millimeter per minute. The carry watt flow rate was 1 liter per minute. And two deposition times were used 8 and 14 minutes. The pin were identified using the minimum time and the position time as variables as shown in the following index. The sample did we have to so we have to in one deposit for eight minutes and the other for the forty minutes. And we present the spectrum spectra with the spectrum on the left represent the deposit with different minimum time. The lower spectrum corresponds to a million time of zero minutes, while the upper spectrum corresponds to 15 minutes, and so on. The spectra on the right corresponds to things deposit with different million times and a deposit time of 14 minutes. Generally, the same exhibits a point a structure with a several detection peaks, you can observe that with a longer minimum time, more the detection peaks for the thing. And this is not for a thing deposit for both 8 and uh, 14 minutes. The report is Crystallized type and and lattice contact. What uh, from um, oriented in the holographic direction, the ferrous electrons using the net formula. Yes, the first crystallized type B. Uh, the formula that the uh, theta is the correct iteration angle and beta is the peak with a half maximum nature of the The nice constant C was obtained for hexagonal structure using the equation on the right where the DX play out. Give the internal distance for the train in the linear distance. And A and C are a large contact of the material. And we can tell that the crystalline size for the thing appear with A minus the position range from the uh, for, for 31 nanometers. We found that the different time values are higher for the team uh, with longer position time, and the larger constant are similar for both uh, teams. Morphology in the surface morphology of phenotype film deposit for a million at different million times, the film generally has a common surface. With that meaning, the grains are played like a regular with size ranking from 300 to 700 nanometers. At million time increase, the grain time decrease, and the state become more irregular. At 15 minutes, grains are elongated. 
en mooi drie kander lang en mooi kander in de nummer terug waai. En waar je meenemt, bij mij is het niet in de tijd. En dit is in de nummer Two hundred and two hundred nanometers. After fifteen minutes, the grain grows to over four hundred nanometers. We are constantly like ten. And uh, one hundred twenty minutes, the grain state remains similar, but the time decreases to uh, one hundred fifteen nanometers. Well, this is the same Longer million time to longer growing time. Uh, the total morphology of skin um, for uh, 40 minutes, a different million time from so the significant change. Without meaning, the growing resembles coins with their head. And time from 100 to 600 nanometers. At 15 minutes of milling, the grain shifts to regular speed, like this, with a similar time to range. So, one grain is more numerous. After uh, 30 minutes, largely, the loss will be reducing velocity. At 35 minutes, the grain becomes a mole in 100 200 nanometers, more rounded, and the toothpaste becomes more close. At 50 minutes, the grain stays on the regular block phase with tight ranging from 200 to 500 nanometers. Finally, at 120 minutes, grain becomes a tight. Diagonal plate, forming power of the structure with size between 300 and 1500 nanometers. Overall, longer kneeling time resulting in larger hexagonal growing cells of conduct the human size. Also, the from optical transmitting, the answer light of human type was the same made using the the dark paper. Where half is a constant. Uh, it's no the bottom energy, alpha is the first from question, and G is the optical bandwidth. The optical transmitting was issued at the water length, water length of 515 nanometers. Also, the bank has yeah, an average optical transmitting. Um, it, it, it was it was found that in the process for a short duration, even a large banker and optical transmitting value. This is a small for we have to do a short perfect deposition time leading to have a the wire bank in the 
un fin con cuánto continuamente bueno Transmission range 
son Twitch, tu TV y TV y Y de calle transmití. Found y film deposited for 8 minutes. The Vanguard Energy did it between 3.27 and 3.36 electron volts. This resistance decreased with milling but increased significantly at the time the fires in milling time. For both the position duration, for transparent electro application, the figure of merit based on optical transparency and thick resistance indicate that the deposit for eight minutes at the highest value. So we case better transparency compared to those deposit for 14 minutes with Okay, gracias, Roberto. Yo aquí termino. Thank you very much, Professor Roberto, for your contribution. Um, any question? It's not professional. That's. So this presentation is uh, the last one for this session. So we conclude uh, with the with the seminar on solid state uh, materials and electronic devices and intermediate circuits. Uh, so join me to thank you, uh, Dr. David Marcus, who uh, you know, has been uh, assisting every day. So uh, thank you very much, David. Pues tuve a lot of help from me, okay? So, thank you. Muchas gracias por el apoyo. Sí. 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 De hecho, que está en el